Hello everyone, my name is PythGB and today I have a very special treat in store for you guys. As a way of A, thanking you guys for helping me push this channel past the 100,000 subscribers goal and B, allowing you guys to get to know me better on this channel, I thought it would be nice to go back through time and talk about my origins on YouTube, how I started and how I've progressed and how I've got to where I am today. And so ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is time for this special one-off video. The Complete History of Python GB. Back in early December 2010, my good friend Connor, who remains a close friend to me after all of these years, had introduced me to this game called Minecraft. I genuinely thought the game looked awful and silly before I played it for the first time. So what I decided to do was I searched for Minecraft videos on YouTube, which was actually the first ever time I went to watch any kind of gaming content on YouTube. And it was here that I discovered this YouTuber with a cat as his avatar by the name of C Nanners, who I imagine most of you guys know by now who at the time was making his let's play series of minecraft and i enjoyed what i saw a lot it took me about a week after my friend told me about minecraft for the first time that i actually decided i wanted to play the game he even allowed me to use his minecraft account to try out the game i fell instantly in love with the game and my passion for it grew and grew with every minute i played it it was at that point that i changed my view on new games and how they should be seen it taught me that I shouldn't judge or have a valid opinion on a game until I've at least given it a try. I bought Minecraft with my own pocket money just before it hit beta, which was alpha version 1.2.6. Back then, Minecraft was considerably cheaper because it was in alpha at the time of me buying it. I was so in love with Minecraft and the idea of being able to upload yourself playing a game that I decided to create my own YouTube channel and it went under the name of Mega Minecraft Madness. Obviously nowadays I think that name was pretty damn terrible because it kind of restricted me to only doing Minecraft content. Anyway, moving on, it was on the 12th of December 2010 that I decided to upload my first ever video onto YouTube. It was the first episode of a series that I called Minecraft Madness, which was essentially just a small random series showcasing some of the buildings and stuffs that I had been doing on the game. Uh, so let's quickly see how deep this goes. So we can just continue going down. I had no idea what I was doing in terms of video making itself. I was using an operating system called Ubuntu at the time and a free screen recorder. My computer was very basic too, meaning the video itself was quite laggy for the most part. Five days after that video was recorded, it received its very first like rating. Now, it doesn't seem like much now, but back then it was a big deal for me because it meant that there was at least someone out there that liked the video and perhaps wanted to see more. So I did. Exactly a week after the first video was released, I put up episode two. Slowly but surely, I started to upload videos slightly more often and my channel had started to gain some traction. My very first Terraria video was actually uploaded on that channel too, on the 29th of May 2011. I remember I referred to it originally as just a 2D version of Minecraft and to this day, I regret that statement because it just isn't. Terraria is so much more than what people even now still call just a 2D version of Minecraft. Skimming ahead about 15 months later and I make a video Video saying that I'm actually going to be stopping making videos on the Mega Minecraft Madness channel. I am going to be making some brand new content on my brand new channel, which is called Python GB. The reason why I stopped making content on that channel is because I wasn't happy with my lack of consistency with the series that I did. I barely finished any of them properly. I realised that even after 15 months of doing YouTube, the quality of my videos was also not really up to scratch. And so, on April 2nd of 2012, I uploaded what was my first video to my new YouTube channel. And the name of that channel was Python GB. I've had this channel now for nearly three years, but little do people know that I have in fact been on YouTube since the 12th of December 2010, meaning the end of this year will mark my fifth anniversary on YouTube. I started this channel off as a Minecraft channel. I started this channel with a simple Let's Play of Minecraft, which lasted 20 episodes and was in fact fully completed. My goal was simply to defeat the Ender Dragon, and I did. And that was also the very first time I'd ever defeated the Ender Dragon, funny enough. Yes! I don't believe it! This is- Oh my god, I did it, I did it, I did it! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> yes! 
Yes! By me completing that series, it gave me hope that I can finish more series if I put my mind to it. Obviously, from the new channel announcement that I had put on the old channel, I had a few subscribers from there who subscribed to my Python GB channel, so I did have a little bit of a head start, and soon enough, at the end of May 2012, I had hit 100 subscribers, which was pretty damn insane for me. That goal gave me the motivation to continue making videos, and so I did. And many of them! I even branched out into other games. I did a small let's play of the original Rollercoaster Tycoon game, a let's play on InfDev Minecraft, which was before Alpha, a let's play on Happy Wheels, and even some old tech videos way back in the day. The two series, though, that really helped this channel take off was my first and original endless let's play in Minecraft, which was called Survival in Minecraft, and my old Minecraft Siege showcases, which I used to do on a weekly basis. I had done five seasons of survival in Minecraft, spanning a whopping 225 episodes. That's right, 225. That is pretty damn insane. Anyway, in August of 2012, I applied for a YouTube partnership for the very first time with a company called Social Blade, who are actually still around today. And they actually accepted me into their network, which, which was a massive milestone for me because I'd never been partnered before. Back in the day, getting a YouTube channel partnered was a very difficult thing to do because you need, quite frankly, a ridiculous amount of subscribers or a ridiculous amount of views per video you put on your channel. But, you know, nowadays you can pretty much just get partnered anywhere and with ease. Anyway, moving on, three days before Christmas of 2012, the 22nd of December, this channel hit 1,000 subscribers, which again, was a number my brain was unable to compute. It was absolutely fantastic. It was, it was just brilliant. There's something about hitting milestones on YouTube that really boosts your motivation to do more. It's almost like an addiction for crying out loud. Exactly a year later, yes, and I mean that, exactly a year later, the 22nd of December 2013, this channel hit 5,000 subscriber, which, which again, what? That was absolutely crazy! On the 20th of January 2014, I received four emails within the space of five minutes saying that my videos had been flagged as inappropriate. Four very early videos of mine at that point in fact. I received four community guideline strikes within the space of five minutes as a result of that, effectively terminating my channel with immediate effect. Now, I didn't even know that the channel had received these strikes until it was too late. I was absolutely mortified because I knew that I had done absolutely nothing wrong with my videos. And I mean nothing. I had to fight what I believed in, that being that I had done absolutely nothing wrong to deserve having my channel terminated. About a week later after having the termination, I decided to actually start a new channel, which was and still is called The Snowy Viper. That channel now acts as my second channel. Anyway, during the time my Python GB channel was terminated, I was using The Snowy Viper as my main channel and I uploaded a bunch of new content on there. During the time I was uploading to the Snowy Viper channel, I was constantly fighting to get my Python GB channel back. I was contacting my network, Social Blade, and Maker Studios, and even Google and YouTube themselves, which, I gotta be honest with you, was a bit of a headache, but you know, you can kind of expect that from a large corporation. Anyway, as a result of me fighting for what I believed in, I actually got my Python GB channel reinstated on the 1st of March 2014, which, yes, means I had this channel basically taken away from me for what was essentially one and a half months, but I still got it back. I was absolutely ecstatic at the point where I got it back. I I remember it very, very vividly to this day. I woke up on the 1st of March, which was a Saturday morning, as I would any day. I turned on my computer to check on my emails, and I had a message from YouTube pop up. Before opening it, I genuinely thought it was an email to say that my Snowy Viper channel had been terminated. So, I opened up the email, and all of a sudden, a massive smile had risen on my face. It remains to be one of my strongest memories today. If I ever need to calm down with YouTube because, you know, things might be getting too much, I go back to the video I made saying that I got this channel back. And that was my way of, of sort of making me remember where I came from and how things can simply get taken away from you on the internet with ease. On the same day I got my channel back, I started my Terraria 1.2.3 slash 1.2.4 Let's Play. And this was the series that skyrocketed my channel. All of a sudden, I was seeing channel growth beyond my wildest dreams and soon enough, 
I had hit 10,000 subscribers late May of 2014, then 25,000 subscribers late July of 2014, and then 50,000 subscribers late September of 2014. These milestones were coming around so quickly that I literally didn't have enough time to think of special videos to do to mark them. I will say this however, I'm not normally a fan of doing milestone videos because I feel like I'm bragging, which I, I gotta be honest, I'm not really a fan of doing. I normally feel like just sort of carrying on with the videos and maybe just uh, saying a very subtle thank you in an episode of just any series just to commemorate the milestone. But anyway, moving on to the 12th of February this year, 2015, which coincidentally was also my mum's birthday, the 12th of February, we hit a milestone that I thought I would never get, or at least not for another several years yet. 100,000 subscribers. My God. 100,000. That is absolutely crazy. Now, 100,000 subscribers, if you don't already know, gives you a commemorative play button plaque in a proper display case. The 100,000 subscriber goal was the thing that kept me going whenever I felt unmotivated or drained. It kept me going, it really, really did. And you guys are the ones to thank for that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, here we are today. I have two words for you. Two words that I have said many times before. Two words which I wholeheartedly mean every time I say them. Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for giving me the motivation, strength, and energy to continue maintaining this channel. Thank you for your subscriptions, viewership, like ratings, comments, and feedback, and most importantly, thank you for being there for me. I cannot stress that enough. Thank you so very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The complete history of Python GB and my journey throughout YouTube. Thank you so very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a rating and hit that subscribe button if you want to know when the future videos are out. But that will wrap it up for me though. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for helping me hit 100,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys later. <laughs>